Hi, I am Ahsan Ul Haq. I am a full stack developer. In this tutorial, I will explain how to create an Angular internationalization app or multilingual app. I am here using NGX Translate. This is an open source project compatible with Angular. I want to explain very shortly what is internationalization or localization. I take this definition from Angular de uh, dashboard. It says that internationalization is the process of designing and preparing your app to be usable in different languages. Localization is the process of translating your internationalized app into specific languages for particular locals. From those definition, uh, we can come up with the point that if we create an app that supports multiple cultures that app will be local for example if we design an app that supports US culture as well as the Bengali cultures uh, then when US people will browse the app they will see they will access uh, the app on their culture and based on their languages. On the other hand, when Bangladeshi will access the same app, they will see, they will access uh, the app on their culture. The Angular uh, can simplify some aspects of internationalization. I want to explain shortly. That is, that Angular can display supports the displaying dates, number, percentages and currencies in the local format. And preparing text in component templates for tra translation, handling pl plural forms of words. Here I explain short to what is plural forms like uh, the message says that uh, that two times ago completed this, this task. Here is the two is the plural form when uh, US when US US cultures it will two and when Bengali culture uh, when Bengali people will access the app uh, they will see the two on their languages and handling alter alternative text uh, that angular internal nationalization can be two way two ways one is uh, using angular CLI this is uh, XLI format and another one is the JSON format and this format uh, NGX translate will use this format the JSON format and we'll cover the the following things in our tutorial that we we can see how to uh, install in NGX translate and uh, how to work uh, with the JSON file and how to work with the TypeScript file but within the TypeScript file uh, the translation content will be JSON format and how to create a service for NGX translate and we will see how to uh, how work NGX translate with in the lazy loading app and we'll see uh, the multiple TypeScript files for the translation.